Man, it's getting hot out there. I need something to cool me down. How about this Louisiana strawberry and mascarpone ice cream? Check it out. I have these beautiful large strawberries. We're gonna small dice about half of them. We'll leave the other half whole, remove the tops. Now for our small dice strawberries, I found the best way is to just leave the tops on, cut down vertically, flip it over, cut down vertically again, and you can make these nice little uniform dice. Like I said, we'll do half the batch like that and we'll reserve that for later. The other half, we'll just remove the tops off and put them into our food processor. Add in a third of a cup of granulated sugar, and then we're going to go ahead and make a nice fine puree. All right, let's make our ice cream base. I'm going to do one and a quarter cup of whole milk. Three quarter cups of sugar. You want to whisk this up till the sugar dissolves. Now this may take a minute or two, but you want to make sure that sugar gets all the way dissolved. This is also going to help aerate that ice cream. Once the sugar is dissolved, add a tablespoon of vanilla. I also added in just a pinch of fine sea salt. And one and three quarter cups of heavy cream. We're gonna add in our strawberry puree. Now you can see how beautiful and vibrant that is. I could just have a cup of that. Now let's put this in the freezer until it's ready to churn. Go ahead and make the mascarpone drizzle that's gonna go inside the ice cream. If you can't find mascarpone, just go ahead and use cream cheese. This is eight ounces. And then one tablespoon of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla. I remember as a kid when my mom used to make that egg-based custard, she would cook it for hours on that stove. And then the next day, Papa would sit under that oak tree and he'd have that old hand crank with the ice and the rock salt. Ooh, that was some good times. Let's go ahead and get this thing churning. And right about now, it's starting to look right. I'll put about half of this into our dish and smooth it out flat. Squeeze in a layer of that mascarpone drizzle and then top with some of those fresh diced strawberries. Go ahead and lightly fold it in. I don't want to mix it up too well. I want it to be kind of swirly. Then just go ahead and top it with another layer. Let's go ahead and pop this in the freezer to chill. I can hardly wait. And as you can see, I probably didn't wait long enough. That's all right, because I like it kind of soft. Mmm. Damn, that's good. That's shorter than that heat wave out.